Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. This is going to be third video tutorial on analog to digital conversion in PIC ADF microcontroller. And in this uh, tutorial, we are going to do real uh, example of analog to digital conversion in PIC ADF microcontroller, specifically in PIC ADF 452, right? And we will be performing this programming example in assembly language programming as we are doing in this complete series. Okay, let's see the situation and let's see the let's understand the scenario. So we are given with a PIC 18 F452 microcontroller, and there is an analog channel which is analog zero or RA0. RA0 is pin or zero pin of port A, and it is also known as analog zero channel, right? Uh, our analog signal is being applied on this specific port or in this in this specific pin, and we are being asked to tell convert it into digital form and we know that pic 18 f452 has a digit uh, is a 10 bit resolution adc so basically uh, we require two different ports so port c eight pins and port d uh, again two pins of port d will be used but six bits will will be meaningless but uh, in total uh, the 10 bits will be following out or going out uh, after conversion from port c and port d Furthermore, we are given that crystal oscillator, which is attached to this PIC 18 f 452 is 10 megahertz. The VDD uh, voltage is plus five volt is connected. Uh, I mean, that means VDD pin of PIC 18 f 452 is connected with plus five volt and uh, VSS pin of PIC 18 f 452 is connected with zero volt. Uh, these two will, you, we will use these two values for calculation of V reference voltage. And uh, we will start our uh, port so basically uh, we have to uh, we know that we have we have two different register that we need to decide their value we need to decide one is at con zero and the other one is uh, other one is what at con one so i'm going to decide their values first of all what we need to talk about so very first thing that i'm going to uh, decide is about pcfg bits so pcfg bits we will tag them default values if all of them are zero we know that all the channels which are connected or which are present in pic 18 f452 will read as analog channel though we are using only one of them so by default value analog zero will be in analog mode and furthermore the v reference would be v reference positive would become uh, equals to what uh, the vdd which is basically what uh, five volt, right? And furthermore, the V reference negative. Okay, the, this, these are very important points. We need to decide about them. So the V reference negative would become uh, equals to VSS, which is zero volt. Uh, for, uh, okay, uh, V reference is equal to V reference positive minus, if you remember, that was the formula v reference positive minus v reference negative so that means it will become simply 5 minus 0 volt or simply 5 volts if we are done with pcfg bits or port configuration bits use conversion clock source is equal to or conversion clock frequency is equal to let's say say uh, frequency of oscillator divided by let's say four i'm going to use it okay uh, we we know that there are different patterns available and, and if i'm going to try this one with a 10 megahertz so 10 megahertz divided by uh four would become what 10 megahertz divided by four would become 2.5 megahertz and we know that uh, if it is the correct clock frequency it will provide us correct uh tad or the convergent clock time per bit right so let's say conversion that will become what uh, one over conversion clock frequency or one over 2.5 megahertz so if i'm going to convert it into uh, 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 timing value so it will become around 200 nanoseconds so is it a valid is the valid value for that no it is not a valid because it is very fast we know that it must be uh, slower than 1.6 microsecond as we have discussed in the last tutorial so that means uh, that value is not valid because it is faster than 1.6 microsecond right so that means this conversion clock source value or tad value is not correct so i'm going to try an, uh, a different scaling factor for conversion clock source which is fosc 
over 16 because last time I was trying four and it was invalid. So now I'm trying uh, for C over 16. That means 10 megahertz will be divided with 16 uh, and it will become around six to five kilohertz. Seems very, very slower compared to the last one because it was 2.5, but we will validate it in terms of TAD as well. So TAD will become around what? One over six to five kilohertz. Right. So if you are going to calculate this, perform, perform this calculation, it will be equal to around what? 1.6 microsecond, which is more than enough. Which is more than enough. That is not faster than 1.6 microsecond, but it is valid because 1.6 microsecond is possible with pick 18 F452. But if you want to have a try a different value. For example, you can take uh, source is equal to FOSC uh, over 32. Instead of 16, I'm trying a bigger value now. So 10 megahertz will be scaled down with a factor of 32 equals to, it will become around uh, 312.5. 312.5 kilohertz, right? So I'm just scaling it down, scaling kilohertz and TAD, TAD will become what? TAD will become around one over 312.5 kilohertz. So it will become equals to what? Equals to 3.2 microsecond, which is again valid. Why? because it is much slower than 1.6 microsecond. So this is a valid value for TAD. So that means this conversion, uh, conversion clock source will also be true or, so, you know, the, the, there's a point. This is also valid and this is also valid. I just perform it to be, uh, to be on a safety side, right? To be on a more secure side. So 1.6 microsecond was actually equal to exact threshold. So I used a, a larger scaling factor. Instead of 16, I used 32. So now it has become uh, 3.2 microsecond, which is much slower than uh, compared to 1.6 microsecond. So convergent time is actually uh, equals to what? 12 times of that. And remember why 12 is used because uh, ADC has 10 bits and start and stop bits will make this 12, right? So, so it will become 12 times of 3.2 microsecond, which eventually becomes equal to 38.4 microsecond. So that means it is a perfect value in this criteria, frequency of uh, oscillator divided by 32. And it is, or uh, this is scaling factor was available for what value of uh, clock source selection bits, right? The value should be zero, one, zero, right? That means it is just deciding the value of ADCS two comma ADCS one comma ADCS zero, sorry, ADCS zero. So it should be what zero, zero, sorry, zero, one, zero. If I'm right, yes, zero, one, zero. So that means ADCS zero should be zero, ADCS one should be one, and ADCS two should be zero, right? So, so uh, this this is the value. This is the value for which we have actually performed all this calculation. We were interested in this calculation. Remember, we we have actually calculated the value of port configuration bits. We have actually decided the uh, ADC uh, conversion clock source bits, right? Or uh, and one thing is remaining. Remember we have to also decide our channel selection uh, out of eight different analog channels. And for analog zero, the channel select bit should be what? Uh, I have already discussed in the last one area. So channel select uh, two, channel select one, and channel select zero value should be equals to zero, zero. Remember, uh, it is again three bit uh, value, so it can vary between eight different combinations selecting out of any of the channel out of eight channels. So we are just using zero channel. So the combination would be zero, zero. So it's again uh, a valid uh, argument or valid point, which we need to discuss. So we have decided about port configuration bits. We have decided our 
channel select uh, convergent clock source and channel selected okay next thing we are going to talk about ad frame bit and it should be one because we are going to use right align right uh, you know that it is the choice of programmer whatever he want to do i'm more comfortable with right alignment so i will just use right alignment right so ad frame bit is one so now we have done almost all the things now let's uh, discuss uh, the a at control zero and at control one value so that we can actually start our actual program so you know that uh, eight control zeros starting bit is what adcs one then remember adcs one is what one then adcs zero so it should be zero then channel select two channel select one channel select zero and their values are what zero zero okay and then we have go slash done bits so initially we are not starting it so we are just assuming go is zero then there is an unspecified value we will take it one and we are going to start our a to d as you remember the last bit and the or the least significant bit of at control zero is about uh, a to d is on or off so we are going to start it so we are going to turn it on right so this is the value of uh, at control zero if i'm going to arrange it uh, in four four bits pattern so it will become one triple zero and uh triple zero one which is basically what eight one hacks right so this is the value of eight control zero we are going to use right? the next register which is very important is basically what add control one add control is at eight control one is the very first bit in adfm one so it is going to be a adfm one is equal to one and then ADCS2, ADCS2, remember this is the ADCS2 and its value is what zero, so it is zero. Then two bits are don't care, so we just put two zeros here. And then PCFG bits, so the PCFG bits are four times zero. So this is going to be ECFG bits. Right, so it is going to be eight zero hacks. I hope you have understand it. Now we have decided the values of eight control zero and eight control one. That means we are ready to perform our assembly language programming. Let's say I'm starting my program originating at zero, zero, then I will make two ports as output port, which of those ports, port C and port D. So I would do what clear F press C and clear F press D, right? So both of these ports are just output port. Yeah. Then next thing, uh, analog zero or RA zero pin is going to be our input pin. So to define it as input pin, although it is by default uh, input, but you can make it input. So BSF press A comma zero. Remember, then we will feed these values, 81, 81 hacks or 81 hacks into at control zero and 80 into at control one. So move literal to working, 81 hacks, and we will feed it into at control zero. And similarly move literal to working eight zero hacks and feed it into add control one and then what we have to do we have to wait for certain duration which is equal to what uh, time of acquisition you can actually call a subroutine which will produce a delay and delay should be of around 15 microsecond or something like that simply write here uh, in comments that it is for what it is delay for time of acquisition right i have already discussed this concept right then we are ready we are ready to start our what analog to digital conversion so we are actually assuming that conversion has started so we will make it so bsf uh, add control zero and our go slash bit a uh, go slash done bit should be what go so we are making it go right so go bit we will go high right and what is the next we have to wait. We have to wait until this go bit become done. So what you will do, we will check it. We task file escape if sat, add control. Okay, uh, it was at control zero. And now I'm going to check the same bit, bit control zero. Is it become done? Remember, done means it has, it should be what? It should be zero, right? And go means it should be what? It should be uh, one. Right, so that means uh, if it is equals to one, so you can also say that I make this bit is equal to one in the first profile, and now I'm checking it. It has become zero or not. So we are checking this bit. Go slash done. Right. You can simply 
uh, use bit number and remember the bit number was three, sorry, two. Because starting is add on, then one is not defined and then go slash done. So you can, one can also simply write two here because it's, it will be using its bit number. And then we will wait for this uh, condition to be true. If it is going to be true, we will go, we will proceed and take the values out. Otherwise we will just stay here, right? So we will write branch ABC or XYZ and XYZ should be level of what? It should be X, Y, okay, X, Y, Z. So it should be labeled over here. So our code will stay unless this done slash go bit has become zero, right? If it has become zero, uh, it will go out. Remember this bit test file skip of set. That means we are going to test this bit of this file register and the file register is basically what at control zero and the bit number is what two. And if that, bit is going to be clear because we are skipping the next instruction, which is what branch X by Z, if it is going to be clear or if it is going to be zero, that means the process has been completed or uh, that means uh, your result is ready in two register. And what are those two register? You need to remember, this is very critical because there are four important special function register address L or first one is the highest one is address H and then address L. What is it? A to D result, higher byte, A to D result, lower byte. So these two registers will hold our address. And remember, we have to send this result to this port C and port D. So we will send this, these values uh, one by one to port C and port D. So what you are going to write, move file to file address L to port D, sorry, port C, and then move file to file address, address H or A to D result H to port D, right? You, you, you know that it is not uh, in a, in real time application, this conversion is going on continuously and this digital out be, output is going to be updated on uh, output pins or output uh, LED or LCD, whatever the output device you are using uh, continuously. So you can put all this stuff, which is stuff, let me highlight it. This complete stuff in a loop, right? So you can actually call one more loop like over here. Let me write it. You can simply write branch, let's say ABC and ABC will be labeled over here, ABC. Right? So this is how this this thing will be looped for an infinite number of time, right? Or for continuous uh, analog to digital conversion and continuous displaying on port C and port D. I hope you have understood this example. Still, if you have any confusion or query regarding this code, you can post your queries in comment section. Thank you so much for listening.